everyone. Welcome. I am your host, Carolyn. Welcome to this week's weekly mini. I am thrilled to have you here today for this bite-sized workshop on the hottest acro topics. You can reference all of our previous weekly minis and more amazing content on our Acrobatic Arts channel on YouTube. If you have any questions while we're live, drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer those for you at the end of the presentation. If you know someone who would benefit from hearing about today's topic, be a friend and click the share button on this post right now and let them know we're here. Today, we are pleased to bring you Acrobatic Arts Master Teacher, Dean Priolo, with a bite-sized tutorial on partner skills for beginners. Starting in competitive gymnastics, Jadine found her love for all things acrobatic. That turned to a love of coaching gymnastics and teaching acro at the dance studio she attended. Now co-owner of All Things Dance in Geraldton, Western Australia, Jadine can't remember a time when she wasn't teaching. Jadine loves the acrobatic art syllabus for developing well-rounded acrobats and is honored to be part of the team. And we are honored to have you here, Jadine. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Caroline. I am just going to make sure there you are. Welcome everybody this morning. Thrilled to have you. Uh, we are pre-recording this now as you come to us from your studio in Australia. Um, when this runs, you'll all be asleep, but we are thrilled to have you here to make this happen, to bring our acro world just a little bit closer. Jadine, what are you presenting for us today? Okay, so today we're doing beginner partnering. Um, and I think with our beginner students, we don't have a, they don't have a lot of skills yet to fill up their um, recital pieces or concert items. So partnering's um, a really good way to get a little bit of height into um, those items, um, something interesting. And I think more than anything, the kids love partnering. And it can be difficult in the beginning when they haven't um, got that background yet. Um, so they're still learning, they're learning to hold themselves, um, but they do love it. So. It's, it's fun for them. So that's probably the biggest thing about partnering. It is so fun for the kids. I think so. I think it's fun for teachers. I know this past month, we've been talking a lot about partnering skills. And um, so we've been seeing a lot on social media from our, our, um, our community in, in sharing partnering skills. And for all the reasons you said, and I know that this people were very excited, Jadine, to hear about this topic. And we've been excited in anticipation. So I don't wanna hold you back. They want to hear from you, but if you wouldn't mind introducing who you've got there with you in the studio this morning. Sure. I've got Charlotte and Luca, Valentina, Rain, and Maddie helping me out today. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to pass things over to you. I'm going to mute, turn off my camera, and you can take it away. Excellent. Okay. So the first one we're going to do is for your very... Um, beginner students. So this one, they're quite supported. We'll show it to you first and then we'll show you how to get into it. So girls, do you want to go into this one? So up they, they go. This is quite good in your recital piece. Um, it gives you some height and it's quite visually appealing, but they're supported. You can see that they're supported there and you can come down girls. Good, thank you. And now we'll get Valentina to come in. She's going to come in with Luca. And she's going to show you how she's going to get into it. So you can see that um, Luca just goes into a downward dog position, but she's not pushing too far back in the shoulders. Valentina's got her hands um, on the inside of Luca's hands. She's got her chest resting on Luca. So she's fully supported there. Stretch those knees, Valentina. And then she can try and touch her toes to her head. She can stretch one leg. And then when she comes out, she can try and um, perhaps cartwheel out to the back there. Okay, so that's how um, they get into it. So they're fully supported, which is nice for the little ones. Um, and they feel like they can really hold that. Girls, do you want to come in and show that together? And so this is just a, a different entry. And away you go. So the same thing, they're just entering from a different position. Okay, so as they get there, they'll just change their entry and they can change their exit. So they might walk over out of this one. This one we're going to do 
Um, this is quite fun. So we were we were doing this early with Valentina. So she's learned this for the first time tonight. And it was giggles everywhere. So this is always fun in the studio. So let's have a look at it first and then we'll break it down. down. Okay, and then they've got their festival arms. And that's where the giggles <laughs> always come in. <laughs> they like that one. Okay, and then coming down. And so that one again, um, you've got some good height there, okay, um, a point of interest. So Valentina is going to come in and do this one. And we're going to keep Charlotte there because she's going to show you where you would spot as a teacher for this. Um, before they begin, Valentina and Charlotte, so you can see the height difference in these two. So when you have your beginner classes, I mean, quite often you'll have different heights. Okay, so we're going to show you how um, they're going to learn to uh, counterbalance one another, and they're both holding um, their own body weight. So it's really, really important. They're holding the wrist um, there, so they've got a really good grip, but it's very important that they learn to hold themselves. So each even though Valentina is really little, she still has to hold herself so that she's easy to lift. So she's going to, that's it. So bending down, leaning back, Valentina, then you can take your arms back, girls. Okay, and then change arms. So pulling back, Valentina, that's it. Okay, so, and they can do that with all different size people. Um, so now Luca's is going to come in and Valentina is going to do the lift that we've just shown you on Luca. But Charlotte's standing in front, and you can see that she's going to spot her in front. She's got her hands ready to hold her hips, okay? Um, they will count it. It's very important um, that they have good communication between the base and the flyer, so that as the flyer jumps, or as the base is ready to lift, the flyer is going to jump. So it's important that those things um, go together. So they will count it. And you can see that Charlotte's just there, so she's got her core pulled in and she's holding herself nice and tight. Then she will bend her knees or Luca will bend down and head comes through. She's tucked her toes around so she can hold on to Luca's back. Yeah, see the big smiles? The festival arms gets the big smiles. Kids love it. All right, and then they're going back and you can see that Charlotte's just there um, to support her should she need it. Okay, core still in, so she's still holding a really good position. And then to come down, she's just doing a little jump down and Luca is following um, that line and supporting her hips as she comes down. So they should be supported throughout, okay? And you always want that front spot while they're um, learning this. So we'll watch the girls do another one, same, the same balance. So Valentina, just jump out, sweetheart. Yep. Just jump out, that's it. Okay, so this one, if you have lines, um, up your jump, girls. So you could do this on mass, and this could kind of make a tunnel coming forward in your dance, okay? So like that. Um, so that can be quite appealing if you have quite a few students there, okay? Just giving us that height. Good. All right. So the next one we're going to do is a caterpillar one. So the girls are going to hop into a plank position first. So for this one, it's really important that they can hold themselves, okay? They don't want to rely or just lay all over their partners. So we can see that they can do a plank. They're holding their body position really well. Okay, so we're going to give this one a go. Now, I might have to move out of the screen for this so we can see it. Okay, so let's have a look, girls. Okay, so that one's um, a good fun one for the kids and you can spend a lot of time in your class. Um, it will take them a while to find that position and to coordinate um, the walking of the hands, okay, getting that timing right. So we're going to show you with Charlotte, Luca and Valentina how they would get into it in class. So firstly, they, they want to communicate and you probably heard the girls counting it so that they're all going at the same time. But this time we're going to see them go up one at a time so they can find their position. Okay, because they need to know where they're going before it can all work together. Okay, so let's have a look, girls. 
So Charlotte will go first, then Luca goes next, and then Valentina is holding on. And so then when they talk about um, walking forward, they're all starting with the same hand. They'll um, talk about how many they're going to do before they begin. So they'll do four steps and then they roll. So um, usually when we do that, we'll teach it in small groups. So you could do groups of two, groups of three, break up um, your class coming girls. And now that Valentina's learned how to do that, we can add her on the end. So the lines can get really quite big with this and that it can become a game. Like I quite often split them into two groups and we'll see which team can do it first, um, which team can walk the furthest. Uh, they can also do a push-up in there. We'll have a look with Valentina. We might show you a push-up in a second. That's, um, that's a little bit harder, but it's fun. It is really good fun. Okay. Let's have a look. Good girls. Would you four like to try with a push up? Let's have a look. So we haven't, um, quick, quick, come in. They haven't run through this yet, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because it's um, really good teamwork, I think. Okay. <laughs> Can they get back up? <laughs> and we've lost them. Okay. So you can see with that, though, it's really good fun. So we, we missed the push-up, but that's what um, happens in class, okay? So some might get the push-up. You might find that you just want to change the dynamic of the group that they might have picked. Come in, Valentina. Okay. So that's what we have for you today. So there's three um, little partnering skills to work on there. There's a little bit of height in all of them. Um, and they are really good fun. Like that last one in particular is very good fun and you can use it um, on lots of kids or a few groups. So it works really well in the class and it can take quite a while. So, it, you know, it's a good one. No, those are great. Thank you so much. I, I was, well, I was laughing along with you and I think you said that at the beginning, Jadine, that there is so much uh, joy and fun going on, partnering, working together. That push-up, I was like, I was impressed. So, <laughs> so lots to pull from. And like you said, when you have different heights, different ages, especially in a beginner class, um, and there's lots of options for working together, for spotting, even within a performance element, um, it's, it's not smoke and mirrors. That's the way it has to work to make Make sure that everybody is supported successful and it still looks amazing thank you so much girls um so jadine i wanted to ask you for teachers who are are looking for these elements to incorporate um into recital numbers um to have fun in class what's your best tip i mean is it keeping it simple is it working with what you've got i know there's progressions probably to everything you presented today um yeah look Usually it's working with what you've got, I, I think, in your beginner classes because they'll all present um, something unique. You know, you might have someone that's so strong and then a little flyer or you might have... It's always different, I think. So um, it's really tailoring it to what you have in the class in front of you so that you can get that best visual picture. Um, right. So that just gave you a little bit of height. I mean, I know they can do lots of... You know, it's nice to have that to frame your stage sometimes. Um, with some some height elements. Absolutely, so. partnering is so impressive. And um, I do love everything that you presented this morning for us, because like we said before, there's pieces that can be pulled. You can start in one place and get to somewhere completely different once you've started. Well, thank you very much, Charlotte, Luca, Valentina, Rain, Maddie. Um, those of you who are watching at home, feel free to um, you know, post any questions in the comments. And I know um, that our team will get back to you or Jadine can get back to you as well with any questions and specifics. Um, but because I'm talking, you can't see um, our performers. So once again, um, do you want to give a bow? And Jadine, you can say their name so the camera pulls to you and your presenters sure okay we have charlotte maddie rain luca and then we've got valentina here she comes give us a wave valentina good girl so she's learned those just um just for this today so yes amazing yes 
Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Jadine. Now, if you would like to get more from Jadine, I want to tell you that if you live specifically in Australia, um, yeah. she is one of our faculty and will be teaching partnering at Australia's newest acro dance convention coming this January. The Accelerate Mini Acro Convention will be held January 7th through 8th, 2023 in the Maruchador, Aust in Maruchador, Australia. And early bird registration is open now. Your students won't want to miss learning from Jadine and other top acro dance industry professionals. Teacher passes are available. For more information, visit acrobaticarts.com. I'll put a link in our bio and it's all over our social media so you won't miss a beat. Thank you so much again, Jadine, and thank you teachers for joining us for this week's weekly mini. See you next week.